Bitter linnet, ampler skylines lift wider wings of simpler light. From walking bear, cave birds, Ted Hughes. Forelock hair, the dye of poplin, smelt of feathers and ginger root. Hair powder masks sweat and raking muck fingers. Pigs at the bottom of garden, a fig of an Adam's apple. Blake's cockney consonants splayed in his den. With him, the printing press, the size of it. His stone man shudders fill the window pane with a blacksmith's smoked regret. The sky, a poor man's body, leaned on the spoonbill's neck till it snapped. He tried to walk in the words as waders. His slickness sealed to his leg, where she pressed a pincushion in hope of delaying those who grew inside her. She walked thought in heavy Bostonian ankles, a silent film's flicker on Stanbury through Nardus stricter. The cold made her angry but hopeful. She could catch the breath and the sullen eye of the sylph foot who went before her. What are you to me? What have you to do with me, bitter linnet? What crass, boulder-haired, brass-haired lass harasses me here? You can't think your way back past burnt follicles to thatch your legacy. I'm tall as St. Paul's and just as indifferent. I've naught to do with insipid suns that crater the face of the earth. Return, do return to your bog man till he skims more stones off your surface. Strangely silent, she went back to a smoking chimney and a Hepton stall hearth. A viewed christening cup, an ominously sized dog collar. Fragments, tapers, Protestant papers, Angora, Zamona, bullet wounds in the church. Stunted grief, steeped, nettle tea. She counted the cost of trailing her idols.